this is an open source um, ORM, so Object Relational Mapper. So for maybe some of those in the, the audience who don't know like what an ORM is, um, it's actually a way where instead of you creating SQL queries manually, so uh, select star from my table, blah, 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 blah. Instead of doing that, you can actually give control over to something like an ORM where you use maybe struts in something like Rust, or you can use in like C sharp classes and objects, or pretty much like Java as well, similar thing. In Python, it'd be classes or like data classes and things like this. Um, Rust has a couple of really big ones in the community. One called uh, Diesel. It's it's quite good. Uh, it's the one I've used a little bit. Uh, the other one is um, CRM as well. It's pretty decent. But um, one of the things that is extremely like complicated about these things is that the knowledge you need to get off the ground and start using it is actually quite difficult. Um, this is something that I really want to like make Geek ORM. It's like primary focus is to be as simple as possible. So if I wanted to say like, hey, I want X, Y, Z happening, you get that out of the box as well. Um, and you can see like based on like my readme here, you can see like, hey, it's really like simple, straightforward. It's kind of its focus. And we can get some, into some of the details about using like derived macros and things like this. Um, one of the other things as well that I've kind of like forced myself to do as well is to actually write um, all the documentation for this as I go along. So instead of me just creating this thing and then throwing it out there and nobody knows how to use it apart from me, uh, high and hip coder, um, instead of it just being me that uses this thing, um, I actually wanted like other people to use this. And of course, writing documentation and making it as easy as possible is the key to doing that as well. So you can see an example here of, I want to create a strut here called user. Um, there's some like predefined uh, struts or um, in, in Rust that I've created here. One called primary integer, good example. And then we have things like username, email, age, and postcode. Um, you can use things like optional types as well. This tells the ORM that, hey, this can be a nullable field. Um, and then the rest of them actually need to be explicitly um, um, set as well. Um, there's simple things like creating tables. This is generally quite easy. But if, for example, you like, instead of an, uh, you wanted to add maybe not just postcode, but like country, and you want to just add it to the end of here, this create, of course, would be different each time. So we want to make it as easy as possible so you don't have to write your like create table query. That was easy, really straightforward. And where the meat uh, and and veg come out of these like um, out of the ORM is really focused on making it so you can do simple things like select queries. Like, hey, I want to select all of the usernames where the username is equal to GeekMasher um, and it's specifically, oh, <laughs> Thank you for that uh, follow there. And um, one of the things that I really wanted to do was make it as simple as possible. So you can see here, we've actually got it. So it's like a where uh, username is equal to uh, Geek Masher. And there's also an age that's greater than 20. Sadly, uh, all good. I am older than 20. Um, and like you can also see like, hey, maybe there's a bunch of Geek Mashers. Maybe I want it in ascending order. Um, maybe you want to set specific limits, etc., and then you can just build the query. So um, for those who are familiar with like builder patterns, uh, I have seen it in a few languages. Uh, some JavaScript frameworks have this pattern. Um, some I've seen them in pretty much most languages. I've seen this before. Um, this is actually a pattern I learned in Rust. In I come from a Python world mainly, and this is you rarely, rarely see this. Um, and I wanted to make sure that. Um, it was like really simple, straightforward, use this pattern uh, and it'd be easy to do as well. Um, then uh, we also do some handling of like, hey, um, this build, of course, if you provide in values that are incorrect, um, it will actually uh, stop you uh, using a result type. And you can just unwrap this or um, you use like an expect in Rust. So you have, an, you have a result type that comes back and you want to say, hey, actually, if the query fails, I don't want to continue. Um, and you can see an example of this as well. There's a few features that I decided not to build into this ORM. Um, this is the currently supported features. Um, the big one that I'm not dealing with at all. Um, this is something I could do in the future, but I don't think it's <laughs> worth it at all. Um, is around auto migrations. So if you are using um, 
a really if you're building a really complex tool and you need auto migrations and this and that um either your database supports this for you automatically or um you can actually um, use something like CRM or Diesel. I think they both support this feature. If you need that, that is really, you should go for these other like um, ORM solutions. Um, the one that I'm currently working on, like this right now is probably the biggest feature request that I need for myself is um, one to many and many, many, many to many uh, relationships as well. So um, I have a user and I have maybe a X number of sessions or one to, or to many sessions for that one user. For example, I would want to have a one-to-many uh, relationship or um, in some cases, maybe a many-to-many -many relationship as well. Um, and there's a bunch of other things like connection pools, et cetera. So there are a couple of features that I've just said, hey, we're not going to do this, um, et cetera. Um, we're not going to go into many of this detail type, but that gives you the overview, overview of, of this. Um, there's a bunch of helper functions, um, something that I've been really focusing on when building this has actually been around um, building really easy functions to make my life easier. Um, some of these are like my feature called new. So uh, for those who are not familiar with Rust, new is kind of like the convention of a constructor. It's not really a constructor at all. It's just, hey, I provide a bunch of variables into this thing and it creates a new object with those variables passed into that object. So it's it's pretty much a constructor, um, although don't tell other Rust stations that they'll, uh, they'll think I'm blaspheming uh, a lot there. Um, but this was something that was really important to me because I was like, hey, I don't want to create a new all the time. I want the ability to like just add a new type called maybe country. It's a required field. And the new function would then say, hey, we've got this country variable you need to pass in. Like maybe NA is, ver uh, is a valid one, but you need to pa pass it in. And the other one are things like select by. It's like select by specific field. So if I want to say select by username, you can absolutely do that as well. And this is actually as part of this helpers. Um, the only backend that we support is called SQL, uh, lib SQL. So for those who are not familiar, um, this is actually a database, uh, driver provided by a company called Torso. Um, they actually do some really cool stuff with databases, um, mainly SQLite. And this is what the focus of this, uh, ORM is about. And, um, it provides a kind of a cloud solution. I'm not sponsored by these people. I just think that the solution is pretty cool. So I wanted to build something. They don't really have a native way of actually using an ORM. So you can't just use um, diesel with, with this ORM for now. Um, and this is actually something that I think is a big pain point uh, for a lot of users as well. So I wanted to just, hey, I want to build something for this. Awesome. Um, but the plan is, of course, to actually make it so that um, you can add additional support for libsql or uh, sql uh, light library or like a specific driver etc um will all support that as well because uh, if anybody's looked into like extending diesel which was my first kind of jump uh it's extremely complicated so i was like no nah, i'm not i'm not going to do that 